The World Cup of Hockey begins this Saturday with a plethora of games. Team Canada might be the favorites. We'll get their guesses in just a few moments. But I do want to still stick with World Cup of Hockey with Team USA in particular and their coach, John Tortorella, who's come out and said, look, you're, if you're going to not stand for the anthem, you're definitely going to be sitting out of the games. But it's a hard line stance. Yes, he's had, you know, I wouldn't say he's backtracked, but he's, he stayed on that focus. What do you make of John Tortorella's, I guess, stance towards players not standing for the national anthem? Agree or disagree? It's kind of like you said, he has a lot more clout saying it than me and you because his son is in the army. So he has a lot more to say about this. He can come and say, you know, as a parent who has a kid who's defending this country in a sense, it's up to, you know, it's, the flag means more to him than it would say maybe to me and you because we don't have children who are in the army or fighting or dying for There's country. no dog in the fight, so to speak. Yeah. yeah. So it's. But, but even so, like, if you look at from where he's coming from, from as a coach, would you hear that? Or maybe it's just because we're in a different sport. Like, hockey is not, you're not going to see protests in hockey, let's be honest. Why not? Well, it's. I mean, It'll come. The, it will come. I think it's going to come this year. Uh, well, it depends. Maybe the concussion issue when you talk about it. But it's the same it. issue. But, but, but the thing is, the, the reason why you won't see it in hockey, well, clearly, is because of the race. Who's predominantly right. dominant in that? For sure. Who's dominant in hockey? It's Caucasians. Yep. Well, you look at who's dominant in, say, other sports like basketball as well as football. It's African Americans, African sure. Canadians, right? They, they dominate those sports. Therefore, they have a vested interest. I, I guess right. where the John Tortorella's. Dog in the fight. They have a dog in the fight. Yeah. Okay. But with that said, do, where do you, the, where do you throw John Tortorella? It's close-minded. What he said. Yeah, it's close-minded. It's I, yes. If I would have liked him to say, explain exactly how you explain it. Hey, uh, on when it comes to this issue, um, I'm on this side of the fence, and here's why. And I think everybody goes, "Yep, I get it." Um, but to, to completely just broad stroke it like that, I think you're 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 unsensitive you're you not not a big enough view or a big enough scope of what's actually going on around you and the fact that that you're in the position you are where people actually are listening and and they care what you say because of the role you're in i think you need to be a little more cognizant of of what comes out of your mouth because well let's say uh the team he's coaching and they're trying to recruit uh a player of of a different race other than well, Caucasian. Not, well, look at you know, Columbus. Yeah. When he goes back to his NHL team and say, say Seth, Seth Jones, Seth Jones. Yeah. yeah, and he goes in and he decides to protest. Well, you know, JT Brown of the Lightning said, "Look, if you're doing that, isn't it kind of ironic that you're sitting out a black guy who's protesting basically the oppression of black people?" Yeah. Well, perfect example. Okay. What? what how? I'd, I'd love to be a fly on the wall when uh, John Tortorella and Seth Jones um, meet at Columbus. And go. I want to love to hear how that conversation goes. Oh no, no, no! I, I didn't mean you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that could that, that could have a, that could open up a different can of worms in general. I, I don't know if you had one more thought here before we go into the next it's one. It's just I, I just there's part of me that doesn't even like protesting in sports. Period. Because of this, because it's there's no winners, there's no losers, and the protest in a sense almost gets what they're protesting gets lost. Gets lost because the, the message now is about whether or not we should be. We haven't even talked about what we're actually protesting about. Yeah, like this entire, we've talked issues. two weeks about this, and we've not actually talked about the issue that they're protesting. We've talked about people protesting and whether or not we believe it's appropriate. That, I think the other thing, too, and this may get me in trouble, but I think we, we often, all of us, are looking for things to stand behind to separate ourselves you know, in, in the rat race. And this is a very easy issue for some people to get behind and say, hey, like, I, I want my voice to be heard. I think it's interesting because if you are an athlete, you, you do have a, a voice. I know we haven't touched on it here specifically because we really haven't seen it in Canada to the extent it is in the States. Yes, you could talk about Aboriginal issues and all that, but that is a, a different can of worms uh, that has its own separate issues and involves a, a, a lot of different levels of government, people, you, yeah. you name it. Uh, in this case in particular, I think it's not a bad idea for guys to, to protest. I, I personally think it's fine. Uh, we have to get to this, though. We have two more things I want to talk about. We'll talk about the World Cup of Hockey and finally get to the sport itself. Uh, it, it seemed a little, a little surprising, uh, considering the, the amount of emotion that's been brought up. Canada, USA, you saw how Shea Weber got run in by Ryan Kessler. And then you throw it on the other end. You look at Team North America looking dynamite. Uh, do you feel that, I guess, with the, even though they were exhibition games, uh, that you're starting to see hockey fans, uh, the, the appetite being wet a little bit and, and excited. And are you guys excited for the World Cup of Hockey to start this weekend? I'm not. I have very. I haven't watched any of it. 
Like I've watched little bits here and there. I just can't get excited about like I'm excited about football. I'd rather sit there and watch football than sit there and watch World Cup of Hockey exhibition games. Maybe when it starts on Saturday, I'll care. But right now, it's I just can't be bothered. I, I think it just really goes to show how important international hockey is to the growth of the game for whatever reason. When a Canadian kid puts on the Canadian flag, a Swedish kid puts on, you know, the, the Swedish jersey, it just it brings out the competitive juices. I think we're going to see a backlash in the NHL. I think uh, the NHL is going to see um, a decline in their product, uh, especially when we're talking about injuries, fatigue, more miles on the legs. And it's hard to go from here to play in that gold medal final to go, OK, now I got to go to camp or the home opener in Calgary, so to speak. Um, I think that's become a major issue for the NHL, but in terms of the World Cup of Hockey, I think it's I think it just goes to show how how important international hockey is to our game. Are you excited at least? I know Breath Hour hasn't gotten the chance. Maybe as the tournament Maybe. kicks off, it might get there. I, I love to yourself? watch all kinds of hockey where where it, guys are competing and and that will to win is there, and you see that desire and that passion and that intensity. That's why we all love playoff hockey. That's why we love the Olympics. Um, there's no money involved here. It's just playing the, the sport for the right reasons and yeah as, as a hockey fan I don't know who anyone I haven't talked to that isn't impressed excited um, can't wait to see more very quickly who's going to win oh god like I'm Canadian what do you want me to say you're wearing red and white I think it's safe to say <laughs> what do you Andrew want to say? I think Canada but I think the team North America will shock people and it's just nice to see because everyone thought they'd just be a write-off because they're so young and they weren't wouldn't be able to hang up with everybody but I think that'll be the final Canada North America watch really? over Finland I say Sweden Finland, Sweden, watch out for those I teams. think one of those teams will, will emerge. All right, we're going to take another quick timeout. We're going to come back with over-under next. Mm -hmm.